Hello. Just like to show something. I'm really pleased with this. Um, something I've been playing with for the past couple of days. Uh, Arduino based. Um, and one of these TMS 1638 display cards that cost all of three euros from China. Arduino Uno. Um, two power lines, um, three data IOs on the Arduino to strobe, um, clock and data on the display card. The, this card's got eight push buttons, um, eight seven segment displays, eight LEDs. And so anyway, I've spent a good while over the, it came three days ago literally. And I've been at it for three three evenings here, three late, quite late nights actually, uh, messing with the thing. And I thought as a fun project, um, I'd have a go at doing my own version of a kind of 1970s single board computer. Because you'd get this kind of a clunky interface of, and very limited stuff you can do with them. Things like the Kim one. Um, well anyway, this is the dog one. Um, I've been writing it in the Arduino IDE. So far I've only got five instructions there plus um, the halt down the bottom. And um, I haven't, only just this second realised, I haven't got a proper reset on it. So I'll, I'll re-upload the sketch to fully reset it. Dog one. Okay, and probably be better if I take off the disp take off that light so you can see the display a bit better. Um, so, with those in in amongst those five instru six instructions I've got so far, um, I've got a, an absolute load and uh, an absolute store and a halt, um, which is enough to show how the user interface works which was quite funny trying to fit so fit the capability into such limited space. But, okay, um, on the left hand side is the value of the program counter, where you are in the, what line you're on effectively. Um, it's in P's for program mode. Um, the dash up there means it's um, incrementing when you click the buttons and on the right is the value in that address. So, um, here's my little program. To start off I want to load the accumulator. I'm going to have an, two accumulators I've decided in this uh, but I've only implemented one so far. In absolute, uh, so the opcode for that is the hex version value for it is one, one. Uh, because it's an increment, when I press these, it'll increment the values. If I plop that down, it'll decrement them. Back up again. Um, okay, and so to the next value in the program counter, in the program, um, the low byte of the absolute address that I want to go for, 2, 3 and hex, so 2, 3, OK, next, 0, 1, next, 1, 2, Six. If you hold down it scrolls up itself. Next to the four six. You really do have to write these things down, even if they've only got these few instructions. It's really hard to remember where you're at. So instruction instruction uh, well piece of data it is five. Zero two, and then finally, uh, 
a hold, which is FF. The display interface in turned out, well, I read a blog or two and found uh, the basics of how to do the communications. And given that, it was really easy to figure out the code to do things like put the hex in. And I've got, like, been able to write a very sort of seven-segment version of text. But hex is fine in it. And, well, a um, ASCII text. P is OK. Things like M are a bit wrong. So anyway, now I'm up there. Clicking these two together, which is a bit clunky, will take the program counter back down to zero. OK, and it's take address zero, and the value in there is as I entered it, one, one. And now I want to run it, so I click the button below the P, and it will go into run mode. Good, it's gone to instruction six which is the halt, which is FF. Oh, bugger, you know what I forgot? Um, back to program mode. Um, I've got to put some interesting value in one, two, three. Something to copy across. Oh, I should say, what this what this will do is read the value that's in one, two, three, load that into the accumulator, and then store the value of the accumulator in two, four, six. So, one, two, three. Uh, what should we have? Twenty, 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 six. There we go. And now take the, take it back down to zero again, and set it running. Okay, it's got to 6, which is the halt state. Um, when it's in the halt state, it's actually just frozen until I click any key, and it'll reset back to program mode at 0. Okay, now... Um, I'll go back to 1, 2, 3, where I put my data in. There's the 26 I put in. Now, at, I should have shown that there was nothing in there to start with. Hopefully... Yay, there it is, it's copied it across. So, there you have it, a Dog One's first, first program. I'm very, very pleased with that. And um, I've only got a, well, I've got space for 256 opcodes, but the actual coding for each of them turns out to be once I've got all the display stuff in state, in place, really pretty trivial. Um, interfacing with the library for the display. Um, let me just find a. That's really straight. Hang on, let me just find a good example of that. Uh, um, uh, there's one. TM dot read buttons. And that's using the TM library that I put together, read buttons, and it returns um, a byte containing the state of the buttons. And things like writing to the display is pretty, just as easy, just write display, display PC, oh, and there, TM dot is display hex. And it just, at that position, it'll display that, the value put in there as hex as rendered by the as rendered by the seven segment display. Yeah, and there you go.